out my business. Money. Okay. Hey guys, how you doing? My name's Cheryl, that's Eric, and we are the amalgamation of the identity booth, plus you, if there's room. There always room, yeah. at the top. Yeah. We, we love you, bring it in. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you can find me on all major platforms, the underscore identity, underscore food, that's the link tree, all my link profiles are there. You can find Eric ET Facts on all major platforms. Um, we have to revisit this story and unfortunately for us in the process of revisiting this story we've also run into a bunch of other things happening in this country where teenagers children children are being killed by the police um and a story we covered last week was about this story it was about uh the austin east magnet school mm-hmm. and how there was a Suppose there was an accusation that there was a school shooting. Uh, turns out that it wasn't a school shooting. It was just a black teen being murdered by the police. And now in this uproar and upcry, we're trying to get some more information on what really happened. And they're not releasing the information. And we just want to talk about it. So the, uh, the teenager that was killed was 17-year-old Anthony uh, T- J. Thompson. Uh, he was apparently having a breakdown. He had a dispute or an argument with his girlfriend into which he went into the women, into the locker, into the men's lock, uh, bathroom, locked himself in a stall and barricaded himself in it, the resource. Uh, one of the students saw this, his, I believe the person's name was Perkins saw this and decided to call the police. And once that happened, they brought the full force of the military to this child a 17 year old they made the assumption that he was armed and dangerous there was no verification that he had a weapon it was just the fact that they called for the police to come to this the resource officer made this 10 times worse and the part that's really baffling to us now is 11 days prior to this shooting this was the first time that this this police department was required to wear body cams Mm-hmm. And now the 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 uh, prosecutors and the attorneys do not the DA do not want to release the footage even upon request by the mayor and that's just damning. When we first got mm-hmm. the story the story was two singles two shots were fired assuming one was shot at the officer and was struck and then a second shot that took out the the uh, Anthony. But the truth is the first shot was a misfire by the resource officer shooting himself in the leg with his own weapon then an officer crossfire how you try to bob yourself and you're supposed to be a, b- b- protecting kids it's, it's <laughs> just it's it's, terrible. it's it's maddening and they let this story go to the news they let this story get pushed they had an official press conference and said this they lied mm-hmm. knowing they had body cameras on them so now mm-hmm. This kid, this kid who was begging for help was once again met with violence. And we have the situation in Illinois where the mayor was literally... And this is this is kind of crazy to us because this mayor in Chicago, Lightfoot, was put in place after our last mayor covered up Laquan McDowell's shooting. And she wow, covered up wow, another man. kid's shooting for two weeks, a 13-year-old. This is literally the last thing we see before he is shot. And it's just eerie as fuck that kids keep getting shot by police. So, Eric, we have to make a rebuttal on this. Clearly, there's going to be so much more coming out. I don't know who to trust in this story. I don't know what information is real, what information is true. So we're going to keep following this until we get to the end of it. But what are your feelings and what are your thoughts on this? Dude, this is a huge, huge problem that we have in the country, man. You know, we have well several but why are police in the school to me to me this is conditioning kids to get used to having police around that they're always being watched that someone with a with a gun that's bigger and stronger than them is there like if for you guys who haven't watched the video here and i put a video out to maybe a month and a half ago two months ago but this uh this young black girl got ragdoll and slammed on her head by the police was out unconscious and the cop was still wrestling her. We see, you know, them 
pepper spraying kids. We see this stuff all the time. They're not there to help your children. They are there to levy taxes and fines against your children. We saw a six-year-old kid get arrested like for picking a flower. Like this is the kind of this is this is what they're trying to condition kids to feel that they're being subjected to this kind of a an issue. And on top of that, they call you a resource officer. What the heck kind of resources are you offering, officer? Because it wasn't to make sure the kids' well being kids well being was was okay. You were not ensuring that he was safe. How do you not know he locked himself in the stall, had a razor blade, was gonna cut himself? Or worse, you didn't you didn't try to find that out. Instead of breaking down the door and making sure the kid's okay and taking him to getting some help. This is what happens. And then on top of that, you cheddar bob yourself. You shoot yourself. The cops kick in the door. They just start shooting everywhere. Don't even react situationally c- properly. They just come in, guns are blazing, and just so happen to hit the boy, and the boy gone. When he's the one who needed help. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. That's, the thing I mean, that the thing that's gonna be always gonna be the question for me is for every resource officer, we should at least have six social workers. Like this could the social worker would have found this out quicker than the officer would have. Yeah, like I also think uh, put the as a social worker, I see social workers saying, "Give me a body chest thing, give me some body armor." I will go in there and talk to him. Let me go in there and negotiate. I I don't get why violence is always the first thing being brought to kids. Like, as much as we talk about save the kids, protect the kids, do this, do that, it's always violence we bring first to them. It's, Mm. like, unequivocal. And, like, the people, like, sitting here thinking school shootings are on the uprise. Yeah. And you better and and I'm not saying that resource officers aren't necessary because guess what school shootings don't happen in black schools as much because they got metal detectors outside. Every kid has to walk through a medical detect a metal detector every day. They get on a they have to go through TSA and they don't ever travel a goddamn place. So for me, I see the the benefit of having them here, but what's the benefit of having an officer draw his weapon on a student? That you don't know is armed. What is the benefit? Like all the weapons you had. I, I mean, and and don't get me wrong. I I see I see this situation, but you're talking about taking the life of a kid. Mm. Like that's what you woke up and said you wanted to do today. The 13 year old had his hands up. He's running from you. And once again, I'll say this again. I'll say it for the rest of my life. Black and brown people are terrified of the police. You run from police. That is uh, that is that is not something you can mentally c- cope with. It's a flight or flight response. Your body naturally it can't fight it, Mm-mm. and you're expecting a kid to have more composure than an adult. Go fuck yourself. I don't know, Eric. What else do you want to put on this? Yeah, uh, I mean, this is just. To, if today's verdict was wasn't a wake up call to the police unions, I'm pretty sure that they're paying attention now. I promise you, people are going to start looking at their policies and procedures and making quiet adjustments, changing their how aggra- how aggressive they allow people to be, and they're going to throw people under the bus. I expect to see that from a lot of a lot of agencies here really quickly, and fortunate for us. I'm I'm glad that it's going to happen. And I sincerely hope that changes are made because again, this is unnecessary. I mean, and this isn't the first the first one. This is one of a whole lot of issues like this. So, hopefully we get the right answers, we get some resolution to it, we get the truth, and we handle uh things accordingly and hold people accountable. No, That's definitely. It. No, definitely. Um but for what it's worth, Eric, where can they find us, bro? Right here on the YouTubes, man. Make sure if y'all are here, if y'all haven't given us a like or a dislike, man. We like the engagement. Make sure you do that. Make sure you go ahead and hit that share button one, one time for the one time. And then make sure you hit that subs- subscribe button. Turn the notifications to all. Go down in that description box. 
can check out the link tree. It's going to tell you everywhere you can find us. We like Visa. We everywhere you need to be. And then right after that, you can see that we got the Endurance 24 Challenge. That's 24 miles and 24 hours. Two teachers from TF North High School, Altenburg and Russo, who are running to raise scholarship money for some graduating seniors. Man, help a kid go to college. Help fulfill the American, the American dream and whatnot. Okay. And then um, after that, man, make sure you swim in the comment sections. But other than that, man. I wish I could say go to our Amazon link, but Jeff Bezos then he done cut us off. Papa Bezos done cut man, us off. Bezos. So, man, hey man, we gonna we gonna make yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> yeah, go over to Twitch if y'all want to drop something in the collection plate for us. Go yeah. over, over to the Twitch and drop something in there. We appreciate that. Papa Bezos took everything. <laughs> the deceit. Uh, he stepped down and stepped off with our money. Stepped off with our money. Now, are you ready? But it's so hard to find through the daily grind. We're working overtime. And I'm sleep deprived. Shorty on my line and we fuzz and fight. Seems like every night. Don't care who's wrong or right. I hope the end is sight. Slow it down and we can catch the vibes.